So I'm in my normal rant spot, climbing up a mountain. This is my favorite spot to rant at. Today we're talking about stop making excuses. There's so many of you guys out there who want to do this, want to do that, but you make excuses, excuses, excuses to not do whatever it is you want to do, not go out there and achieve whatever it is you want to go out there and achieve. Um, give you a perfect example. This person's been subscribed to the channel for a long, long time, like way before most people were on the channel. I don't know when they came on, but I've seen their comments for such a long time. Uh, classic raids. <laughs> He's got like a Spider-Man as a, uh, I think it's Spider-Man as like a little icon of his channel or whatever, right? So he was talking about, him. I'm guessing it's a he, I've never seen him, but I guess it's a he and he's talking about, and if you're watching this classic raids, don't take this personal, but you know what, I've got to come after you for this one. You were talking about um, how you want to start a YouTube channel and you live in a dorm or whatever, you're at college, and therefore you don't have enough space to go ahead and start a YouTube channel. I'm like, that's some bullshit excuse right there. I said, uh, I just said outside. And then you started with another excuse. Well, don't you think the wind will affect things? Who the fuck cares, dude? You're just starting out. Like, like all that shit doesn't matter. It's all just excuses. You just gotta roll. You just gotta start it, man. Like there's no, there's no time to waste as far as do this, do that. And there's, and, and there's so many people out there that want to do this, want to do that, and you just don't do it because you make excuse, and then that excuse gets it gets eaten away, and then you make another excuse, and another excuse, and it's just fucking compounded excuses up to the fucking sky, and it's ridiculous, and it, it, oh man, it pisses me off, and I used to be there, I used to be there, I used to be one of those people that would make excuses. Matter of fact, you know what, we're climbing this mountain right now, I was making excuses earlier not to climb it. I was like, oh, I'm so fucking busy. I got uh, all these emails. I was emailing customers that were emailing me about projects. I'm like, dude, there's so many projects of my real estate business I'm not even pursuing right now. Um, I got a free book I'm gonna be writing that I'm gonna release to you guys. Uh, it's a motivational book. I'm like, dude, I got so much. I gotta record the stock market weekly recap today. Like I got so much shit to do, right? So much, and I got a family. And I'm like, fuck, I need to go out there and get some exercise. I don't want to be 800 pounds. <laughs> I want to be the richest 800 pound guy in the world. Like, come on now. So uh, that's, that's like, you can make excuses or you can figure out a way to do it. So for me, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go record a video while I climb a mountain. I'll get my exercise in and I'll record a video. Two birds, one stone. That is the type of thinking I want to start seeing from you guys. Quit making these excuses and making another excuse and another excuse, especially, especially when it, it, something you want to do costs you no money and all it's costing you is time. Like if you want to start some business and this business is going to cost $25,000 to start up, then you really need to think that through. Like this needs a lot of thought. You got to put a lot of thought into that, right? That's a lot of money you're putting up for grabs, 25,000. But if you're gonna do something for free, something that's not gonna cost you any money or very little money to start, whether it's a side business, whether there's some type of potential passive income stream, like what are you doing making excuses for that? There's no reason, you have nothing to lose other than time. Other than what's that time gonna be spent doing? What's that time gonna be spent doing? Oh. Well, you know, I could watch Game of Thrones for the 17th time, or oh, well, I could be playing uh, Call of Duty some more, or fuck, I could be playing Clash of Clans. Oh my gosh, like that's what that's what your time's coming at expense. Come on, man. And everybody's there's one thing if you're if you're not doing that well financially in life, there's one thing you have it's time. You got more time than anybody because. The more money you start getting, the thing I've noticed in life is the more money you start getting, the more busier you are, the more you're doing stuff because it's just like more and more opportunities open up and you got this going on, that going on. So that then you start running out of time, literally. But when you don't have much money, you don't have things going on, man, you got a lot of time. You got a lot of time to be doing some things. So quit just plotting stuff all the time and then not doing it. Go out and start doing it. Oh, there's so many excuses being made in the stock market right now about people not understanding a company, understand the industry, and not because they've spent massive amounts of time trying to understand it, because they've thought about it for like 10 minutes and they're like, I don't understand that. Come on, guys. Like, if you spend, if you don't understand the social media industry, right? 
fuck, you need to spend days, if not weeks, trying to understand that. If you spend weeks trying to understand it and you still don't understand it at that point, fair game. Don't, don't even mesh with them. Like I always say, don't get outside of your circle of competence. But if you spend an hour trying to understand Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and whatever other social media, and you've decided that's not for you, you're fucking lost, man, because you need to, you need to fully research those things. Like those are, those are pillars for the future. And if you're just going to miss out on all that, then you're missing out on so much. Oh my gosh, you're missing out on so much. And it's like that for a lot of different stocks, a lot of different companies, people don't even bother to research and they just try to throw out an opinion on it without doing the, the real research needed. Oh, it pisses me off. And it's just, just a bunch of excuses. Oh, I don't understand that. Yeah. Cause you haven't even fucking looked into it yet. No wonder you don't understand it. Like you think I would understand, uh, uh, you know, an NFL game, if I had never played football in my life or never like looked up the rules of an, an NFL game, like, give me a break guys. Like be practical, be practical. Quit making all these freaking excuses. It's unbelievable. Another excuse so many people use is, oh, I'm not good at such and such. So then I can't do such and such. Like, how are you going to get good at it? If you don't do it, how are you going to get good at it? If you don't do it? Imagine if I thought that way when I started my YouTube channel. I was absolutely horrible on camera. Absolutely fucking oh, cringe. I would never watch myself for a second watching any of my old videos, right? It's pretty sad. But I didn't let that stop me, even though I sucked. I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to get better. And by the time I hit 100 videos, I was a little better. Then I did another 100 videos, and I was a little better. Then I did another 100 videos, and I was a little better. Then another 100, I was a little better. If you want to be good at anything in life, it takes practice and it takes patience. It takes executing time and time again, going out there and doing it and getting better and better and better. So there's no such thing as an excuse because I suck at something right now. Just because you suck at it now, it probably means you didn't put in any work to it. I mean, imagine, imagine every single person that ever you know, picks up a football or basketball in their life, right? They all suck at the beginning. You're a little kid or, or you're a kid or whatever. You're going to suck at it. Who cares? You practice it. You get better. You get better and you get better and you go on to achieve whatever you want to achieve. Uh, and my real estate business. Oh my gosh. When I started my real estate business, I blew as a photographer. I absolutely blew as a videographer. It was horrible. I was so bad. I was so bad. I didn't let that stop me. I was still proud of whatever I was doing because whatever I was doing it was still the best i had ever done at photography right but if you compare me i was the worst i was a fucking worst in las vegas and now uh you know less than two years later have one of the biggest real estate marketing companies in fucking las vegas i have some of the biggest customers out there or my customers now all because i believed in myself and i got better and better and better and as i got better more and more people came to me i didn't make the excuse of oh i suck now so let me just forget about this no i went out there and i did it no fucking, no such thing as excuses, guys. Stop making excuses for shit. It's pissing me off. Ah, oh, you probably can't see this very well because I can't zoom in, but right over there, there's a guard gated community. It's guard gated community and beautiful, all a bunch of million dollar houses over there. It's way up toward the top of the hill there. Got straight views of Las Vegas Strip from up there and everything. I wonder how many people that live in that community would just walk around making excuses all day. I bet you any money, more than 70% of those people that live in that community probably sucked at whatever they were doing at first when they first started it. When they, whatever they started the business, if that's what they did to get there, or if they were trying to climb up the executive ranks, I guarantee you they fucking sucked when they started. It's not an excuse, guys. It's not an excuse. Quit making excuses because you're not good enough because, oh man, I got a lot of things going on right now or whatever. Just quit making excuses, guys. Go out there and do it and achieve whatever it is you want to achieve in life. And, and, I don't know what else to say. That's fucking about it. it. Just it just pisses me off when I see people making excuses after excuses when there's no reason for excuses to be made. Go out there and do it, man. Go out there and do it, especially if you're not putting in money toward it. Like, come on, man. Just do it. Put in the work and then see what happens. By the way, not sure if you guys saw the shirt or not, but just do it. Just do it, guys. That's the best slogan ever created by Nike right there. I don't think they'll ever create something better than that. Just do it. Just do it.